guys welcome back to my channel it has been a minute I was kind of taking a little mental health hiatus from YouTube for a little bit um, if you haven't been watching my channel I unfortunately lost my mom the end of November so that kind of threw me and my entire family in a tailspin so I was just taking a little break trying to make it through the holidays um, I think the last time I posted was around my birthday, which was January, the beginning of January. So here we are, and I'm recording this on Easter, so happy belated Easter, everyone, because this isn't going to come out on Easter. But yeah, I am here with a Dollar Tree haul, finally. So let's jump into it. I've got something from just about everywhere at Dollar Tree. <laughs> So I am going to start though with I think the coolest things and they are actually name brand. So these were on the automotive and like hardware aisle and they're Schwinn. So that is a name brand. It's a bicycle brand but these are little bike locks. So um, it's a combo lock has a fabric cover and a steel cable and it's a symbol combination. Jackson just got a new bike so we got him one of these for his new bike and I also picked it up in black just so we have a backup one. Some kind of cool home decor stuff has been coming out. I haven't hauled anything like wall art and stuff like that in a while. These though aren't wall art. They are frosted window film. This only comes with one in here. So it's 11.8 inches by 47.2 inches. So this is a pretty good size chunk. So I bought two. They come like this. I found mine kind of like where the like the ribbon and the like crafty kind of floral stuff is. I know every Dollar Tree is different, but that's where I happen to find them. And I've only seen these at one of the Dollar Trees that I go to. I go to about four different ones. And yeah, I've only seen them at the one. But it does come in two designs. You can see on the side there, this one's kind of like a floral pattern. And this one's just, they look almost like 3D squares. Like it reminds me of, if you remember the game Minesweep that people used to play on computers, that's what it reminds me of. So I got both of them in that because I really did not like the floral pattern. So yeah, hopefully these work. Hopefully they stick well. It gives you directions how to use them back there. With the home decor stuff, I picked up a bunch of new wall art. But they have these, they're like almost like shadow boxes and then they have the little hanger on them. They're made out of like press board. But this one it has, this is an extra piece. But this one says laundry loads of fun with like the really cute faux wood background and the little laundry basket. I also grabbed this one. I think it's, these are, yeah, they're the same size. Um, I would say they're probably about maybe like nine inches by nine inches square. So I got that one and then I got this one that is also like a dark faux wood and it says wash dry fold repeat and this is again like a different and funny story about this one how rude people are this was the last one like this in the box and I was like determined to buy it it had the plastic around it someone had stuck their gum to the plastic so I had to kind of like scrape it off on the side of the box and then as soon as we got done buying it and everything, I took the wrapping off and threw it away because I was like, that's just gross. I still ended up getting it. It does have like something weird on it. I think that's like glue. But yeah, I got the last one. I was pretty happy about that. And the last one for the laundry room type ones, they had a bunch of these stretch canvases and like with the laundry room theme. But this was really the only one that I liked enough to buy. So this one says washing machine and then it says noun and tells you how to pronounce it like it would in the dictionary. 
and it says an appliance designed to eat socks which if you watch Pookie's view she made a good point I don't think it's the washing machine that eats the socks I think they disappear under your kids beds that's where I find them I find them under their bed under the couch in the couch or even when I go to change their sheets and wash their sheets I'll find socks wrapped up in their sheets so my kids they are little sock hoarders yeah I thought that was cute it's nice and simple so this next little art piece got the glass here and the white frame which I bought it for the print I didn't buy it for the frame I might actually paint the frame black now that I'm thinking about it but it says gather together with these little purple flowers I was thinking they were like lavender but they're not they're like open little flowers so I don't know I just thought that was pretty I love that font that typewriter font Usually when I, if you've noticed on like my thumbnails and stuff like that, I usually always throw this font in there somewhere because I just love it. I think it's really, it just reminds me of like, not really like farmhouse, but just kind of like rustic. This one is a stretched canvas again, and it still has the plastic on it. So I'm going to try not to rustle it around too loud, but this one has this cute like chevron pattern around it and it says get cozy. And then this one I thought would go, I don't know, you guys will have to comment below and tell me if you think this, these like will go together. So this one says, you feel like home to me. And it has kind of like the aztec -y print back there, but I just thought those would look cute together. I don't know. Is that weird? Is it too many patterns together? Um, yeah. I just, it's been a long time since I found wall art at Dollar Tree that just like, oh my gosh, that's so cute, I need to buy it. So I was really happy to find these ones. Last couple little pieces of home decor here. So this one is actually going to be taken apart and I'm gonna do something with my Cricut in the middle. Um, yeah, so it has like a nice little I mean, it looks like real wood to me, but I'm not sure if it is. Uh, but anyways, this is like a little piece of chipboard that you can take off of there. It says, this is us. And yeah, you can pop the little backing out and do whatever you want with it. I was thinking I would flip this part over, paint it a different color, and then crick it a, um, like a quote or something to put on the wall. Okay, last pieces of home decor. I hauled a bunch of these before. I think I hauled like four of them. I can't find, well, I sent some to my bestie Bonnie. I know that. And then I have two that I hung up in Jenna's room when we redid her room a couple months ago. And I needed some for myself because I always forget about myself, I guess. I don't know. So they're these little floating shelves. They do come with the little hangers. And they come with the hardware which includes anchors so that's super cool because um, our house is a mobile home if you can't tell from the lovely wood door over here um, so all of our walls are that really flimsy sheetrock so usually if we want to hang something and have it be able to hold heavy things or stay in the wall for a while we have to put anchors in so I have some name brand makeup and couple other little makeup goodies. So first, I have been finding so much hard candy and I absolutely love it. They've been coming out with a lot of primers, I've noticed, and setting sprays. Um, I have picked up so much setting spray from hard candy and it works amazing. That is usually the setting spray that I buy at Walmart and it's like, I want to say it's like $5.97 a bottle so to find it for a dollar I usually buy like five of them just so I have plenty on hand because I love it I love how the setting spray dries it stays on my face all day so I also found primer and this one is pour defense so it's silicone free all day wear combat pores it's a primer serum 
minimize the appearance of pores, oil-free and silicone-free. And this is 1.6 ounces, so it's a full-size little thing of primer. So I picked up a couple of those. I haven't tried this one out yet, but I did buy a bunch of this one, and I have been using it, and I really like it. This is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Perfecting Primer. Minimizes lines and pores for a smooth finish. Skin Perfecting Primer. And this is also 1.6. So I picked up quite a few of these and I do love them when they're when it's on your face it is like so silky smooth it just feels amazing. Next I found this. It's by a brand called Milani. This one is in number two which is light and it says retouch and erase concealer. Light biting concealer. Conceals dark circles, covers spots, blemishes, and imperfections. Brightens and revitalizes. Mess proof cushion tip. So that's what I liked. Because you're almost, you almost have like a little mini, mini, mini beauty blender on the end of it. So you can just kind of blend as you're putting your concealer on. So this is from, it just says Milani Cosmetics. So it's not a green briar brand. So it's got to be some kind of. Yeah, so it has to be some kind of, I guess, name brand. Probably definitely goes for more than a dollar. I'll have to look it up. So we have that. Then I also found some more Wet n Wild. This one is Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder in Natural Beige. So that's a lighter color. I found the pressed powder, and then I also found the Photo Focus Stick Foundation. So I got this one in porcelain because uh, my face is white. So it's this and it's just one of those like chunky highlight or um, foundation sticks. Also, this was kind of a cool find. So these toothbrushes are NFL. They have the NFL little sticker on there. They are soft, soft bristle toothbrushes, but they are Seattle Seahawk toothbrushes. So they're like a navy blue color, then they have the little Seahawk on them, and it says Seattle Seahawks on there. Since I'm sure most of you know I'm from Washington, so our NFL football team is the Seahawks. So yeah, I picked up a couple of those just because they're super cool. And I had all of that sitting in this little flowers and garden galvanized bucket. I really love this one in particular because this is just printed on here. So you can take nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol. I've used both in the past. And you can take this off of here. And I'm thinking now that I have a Cricut, I can Cricut up a cute little sticker. Like I was thinking maybe like a like general store one or flowers or something like that and stick it right on there and put some plants in it this summer or spring I guess all right moving along more things to add Cricut decals to I got these little so many people call them different things can koozies can coolers whatever you want to call them I picked up four different ones just to kind of experiment with I got this like purpley, it's almost like neon purple kind of. I just thought this was really pretty. Black of course, a bright lime green, and this kind of coral color. So I thought these would be cute to put like funny little sayings on for summertime. have a couple of kid things. These are little Nerf blind bags. As soon as I saw people hauling these on videos, I think it was actually Pookie's view. Um, Jackson and I were on the hunt for them. So we weren't able to find the one that has the little keychains in it, but we did find these little disc launchers. And let me tell you, I fully thought this was just gonna be a piece of junk. And no. 
they shoot all the way across our living room. So it comes with 12 discs that you can collect. He picked up five of these and they have two mystery discs in each. So thinking we probably have close to just about all of them. These next things, Jenna picked these out. Not a good deal, but she just wanted them, I guess, to play with or something. I don't know. But they're little bags of the Crayola Model Magic. This has been kind of coming into Dollar Tree here and there for probably the last couple of years. But this is just a little one ounce bag. Soft, squishy modeling material. So we got red, black, and blue, or red, white, and blue, sorry. So, yeah, pretty cool. That'll keep both of them occupied for a little bit, I guess, or they'll fight over it, whichever. A couple more little random things I got. I have bought these in the past and I love them. They're these floral scissors. So they're kind of like serrated and they have like this little notch right here, but they're really good for cutting wire and ribbon and like anything that has like a thick like what am I thinking of like how ribbon has like a thick edge and sometimes your scissors you kind of have to like Meh. these just cut right through it and you can cut like the faux or like the fake flowers and things like that you can cut the stems really well with these so yeah they come in a couple different colors I have a green pair I think floating around somewhere but I have no idea where they're at so I just picked up another one but yeah these work really good if you're needing something for cutting like floral stems and stuff like that and also I found this animal ribbon well it's not animal uh, <laughs> so there's nine feet in here and it is the black and white buffalo check oh I should have done these with the beauty products I did find a couple hair accessories these are athletic wear by expressions and this one is just a head wrap so it's got a W on it for athletic wear and it has the two but it has this the like silicone kind of grip all the way around it so it doesn't fall off your head super easy so I got that one that's black and gray I got this one which also has that like silicone inside of it this one is another head wrap this one's these are not very stretchy which is sad because I have a really big head and um, I don't like really tight headbands but I thought it was pretty so it's got the pink and gray and then it's just gray on the inside and then this one is a two-pack can't tell if they have the silicone on the inside of them I don't want to open them because I'm not sure if I'm keeping these yet but this one it's just like a thin black band and then like a braided black gray and white band so I thought those were kind of pretty and I'm just pulling beauty products out of everywhere I found one of these finally I hadn't seen these I've seen them hauled a million times but it's a little lip scrubber by sassy and chic so it's got a side that exfoliates and a side that stimulates so yeah you scoop your lip scrub up on there and or put it on your lips and then use this to kind of work it around so that's pretty cool all right I do have a couple of stationary items which are super cool by the way this I got actually for Jenna for when she's trying to like take notes and stuff I thought this would be kind of cool it's called a notes organizer and it has 80 sheets front and back so you get 160 pages um so it has your date subject cue so 
I guess that's where you put like what you're writing about key terms I don't know and then you put your notes so well, it's easier to show on the cover so you have your name your subject your cue your notes and then your summary down at the bottom so I just thought that might be a little bit helpful helpful for her when she's taking her notes so I got that found these which absolutely blew me away so back when I was like little probably like under 10 I used to love playing school and we had this little um it was actually like an office supply store that was downtown in the town that I live in and my dad used to buy these for me and I thought they were the absolute coolest things they were like Pentel brand I think but they were retractable erasers and I had so many of these and they were like my prized possessions so to see them at Dollar Tree it was just like nostalgia and I had to buy them probably should have bought every color they had but I only bought pink and green so you get three in here so you get one inside the little thing and then you also get two extra refills so it's just an eraser stuck up in there and here, let's let's take out the pink one it has this little thing and you just click it out as far as you need it and you can just hold it like a pencil and erase whatever you need to erase and then when it gets all the way well the Pentel ones are a lot easier to push down but when it gets all the way down to the end I don't you probably can't see in there but there's a little like notch and you just push your little eraser refill back in there and then click it back click it back shut so yeah I just like the things that Dollar Tree is coming out with, they just are so cool. So we got the pink one, and then we got the lime green one. They also had blue and black, I think. And these next things, I'm pretty sure are new. I'm not 100% sure, but I haven't seen them. Um, these are by the ink brand, INC. These are metallic markers. Permanent metallic ink vividly marks dark surfaces. And they are fine tip. And it says it writes on black paper. So it comes with two in the pack. These were the only colors that I found. So in this pack you get a blue and purple. I love that like steely metallic blue color. It's so pretty. And then this one is red and green which is more of almost like an emerald green. So those are really cool. I'm excited to see if these actually do write on black paper. So Lucky decided to join the video back here. I have Sherman down wandering around by my feet. Oh, you're probably gonna, there he is. <laughs> they don't like when my bedroom door is shut because I don't know, they feel trapped or something. So they're like wandering around like caged tigers. But I have a couple more random things and then we're gonna finish the haul with some kitchen slash food stuff. Next two things were on a clip strip up by the checkouts and they had so many different animals to choose from. I actually got a raccoon one but I put that in my little cousin's Easter basket that I made for her. So the only ones I have to show you guys are the fox and it has this little handle and then it has a snap so when you unsnap it you put your shades in there and then you snap this back shut around it and then you can unclip this part too and you can like hang it on your bag you can hang it in your car anywhere so we got the fox again the raccoon which was so cute it was gray and had like a little raccoon face and obviously I had to get the cow I don't know if my grown-up sunglasses are going to fit in this, but I really don't care. <laughs> and had to get that guy. And then the last few things are kitchen slash food items. I picked up a pack of these. You get four in here. They're the little glass bowls. Um, Dollar Tree has had these forever. They're, I think people call them pinch bowls, I think is what they're called. 
Um, these are like the perfect little size for a scoop of ice cream for Jackson or like a little handful of goldfish or something, whatever. I needed another strainer. I have a two-sided sink in the kitchen and we needed another little strainer for the one side. So I grabbed a pack of these. This is the same one I have in the other side and these work awesome. I don't have any complaints. These are new and apparently flying off the shelves because I've only seen them once. And they are by Reynolds Kitchens. They are cookie baking sheets, pre-cut parchment paper with smart grid, which makes measuring easy. And you can reuse these up to three times. So you're really getting like, you get five sheets. So you're getting like 15 uses out of this, like 15 batches of cookies. So it shows you on the back how it has it measured out so that you can put your cookies evenly on there and they won't mush together or anything. So yeah, pretty cool. So actually about two of those. Okay, another kitchen item. This is actually gonna go on the fridge. It's this little magnet that says, I love you s'more. Um, my kids and I are obsessed with s'mores, so obviously it had to come home with us. I think our entire fridge is covered in Dollar Tree magnets. All right, last couple of things in this haul are food. We got these little Biscolata Mood. They're cookies with chocolate cream filling. And each one is a different, has a different little symbol on there. It tells you what each little symbol means. Like there's luck, health, love, happiness, etc. So yeah, there's just a bunch of little, the cookies are like about that big. So it's a perfect little snack for kids. Jackson picked these out. These are the popcorners and white cheddar. He loves these things. So grabbed him a little bag of those. And then the last thing is something, well, it's new to me. I, I don't know if it's been around or what, but these are Chester's Poppers Cheddar Whirls. And these are the cheddar flavored ones. Uh, this is a two ounce bag, so it's just a little bag, but they're basically just big um, Cheetos. <laughs> so yeah. So that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys saw some good stuff and keep your eyes open. I will be hopefully regularly posting now. I'm very um, set on creating a schedule. So I'm going to try to post at least one set day every week. So yeah, I hope you guys hit that subscribe button and leave comments. I love talking to you guys and hearing what you guys have to say about Dollar Tree products. So I will see you next time.